Hello everyone. My name is Muiwa Adedayo. I am a, I am an educational neuroscientist, a lecturer. I am also an author. I've authored about okay, I've published about uh, six books. Okay, today's topic is a study vlog, Elon Musk and a first okay principle thinking. Okay, let me let me repeat it again. Okay, study vlog, Elon Musk and first principle of thinking. The name Elon Musk, okay, is uh, it, it is a kind of a globally okay recognized name. Okay, today okay, this brilliant mind has emerged as the world's most richest okay individual. Okay, he was born okay in South Africa, but later the mom okay emigrated from South Africa, where Elon decided to actually join his wonderful uh, mother. Okay, Elon Musk okay was a kind of a, was a child prodigy when he was very very young okay he was a kind of he was a bookworm when he, he was a very young okay and that um based on the research that i've conducted okay about him i discovered that uh, it was reported that he created okay um a kind of a device okay that he later sold for about maybe 500 dollars called okay xbox okay he's also one of the founders of our paper he is a graduate okay he has two degrees okay one in uh physics i think the other one in, in economics okay presently he has so many okay companies okay he's the ceo of tesla okay of Neuralink, of uh, starlink of gigafactory okay of boring company etc uh elon Musk, one of his greatest okay audacious okay aspiration for humanity is just to do what to make humans okay multi uh, planet planetary okay he wants to actually take human beings okay uh, to uh, mars and then what is the connection between elon Musk okay and today's topic yes um elon Musk has revealed okay has consistent consistently okay revealed okay that one of the reasons why he has been so intellectually exceptional okay one of the reasons why he has been able to actually create things okay that bewilders okay human okay imagination okay has to do with the fact that he uses what is called what he calls okay first principle thinking and what is a first principle thinking a first principle thinking has to do with the fact that if you are trying to understand a thing that it is extremely important that you understand okay the foundation okay behind the evolution okay of that thing uh, that uh, one of uh, the uh, the properties okay or the characteristics okay of a first principle thinking has to do with going deeper going beyond the periphery and going deeper okay into the source okay of, of something okay for example when Elon Musk wanted to actually start okay his uh, uh, his company especially the, 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 the space company okay, what he did was that he went to the source he went to the russians okay trying to actually find out how did the russians okay how did they okay build okay expertise okay in maybe building of a spacecraft okay and others so um to, uh, as a student okay to apply this okay this concept okay this concept this learning strategy okay in our own lives this is what we need to do that whenever you're reading in order to be able to really understand okay holistically okay the concept that you or the, the book that you're reading or the topic that you're reading when you get okay to maybe after reading okay a, a topic you need to ask yourself a question ask yourself okay why the why question if you're able to really ask the why question okay the how and others will really evolve so what i'm going to advise students to do it is what i do also it is this and we're going to really go back to elon Musk. for example elon Musk has okay that dream and he has been putting it into practice okay he has invested billions upon billions okay on his uh, space okay aspiration on his moonshot okay so we, we, we can apply this okay to, to him by saying okay why does Elon Musk want to take humans okay to Mars? That is the why question. Then secondly, okay, why does Elon Musk why does he commit almost everything okay to this project? Okay, by asking the why the why okay that uh, gradually okay answers would begin to do what 
uh, to come to the full, to come to the open. And our understanding will definitely, okay, expand. Then I'm going to really add, okay, other components of the first principle of thinking, and that is asking the WH question. Okay, the next thing is, is that, okay, after reading a topic, okay, you can ask why. Okay, the second one, you, okay, you ask, okay, uh, when, okay, the when question. Okay, when did uh, uh, Elon Musk, when did he actually plan, okay, to take humans, okay, uh, to the moon? Okay, uh, you can ask, okay, um, uh, where, okay, where does he want to actually take us to? Elon Musk is not taking us, okay, to uh, to Saturn, neither is it planning to take us to Jupiter. He wants to actually take humanity, okay, to Mars. Okay, and uh, what, okay, what does he want to actually accomplish? He wants to, he, uh, the what there ha has to do with, he believes that, okay, that th th this world, the, the earth, okay, is going to, okay, go into extinction. Okay, and that maybe something might actually happen like astronaut, okay, that destroyed, okay, the dinosaurs. Okay, so he wants to actually guide, okay, humanity, okay, from, he calls, he calls it existential uh, threat. Okay, you can then, you can ask, okay, how does he want to actually do this? Yes, he wants to do it by creating, okay, world class, okay, and a uh, kind of very high quality spacecraft, okay, that can do what, that can take humans, okay, to Mars. So these are, okay, uh, the, the, the kind of the little, okay, explanatory tips, okay, uh, that connects the first principle thinking, okay, to students. And then let me quickly talk about okay the neuroscience okay behind okay the efficacy okay the, of first of the first principle of thinking okay whenever a student actually reads and starts okay asking questions okay the brain naturally like okay uh, is always okay excited okay when we ask questions okay neurons okay especially uh, concept neurons in our brains okay they begin uh, to fire for example this is the this is a, an image okay. Okay, of, 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 of the human brain. Okay, that this is the, the okay the hippocampus. Okay, the hippocampus in our brains. Okay, whenever we are studying, okay, uh, the concept neurons. Okay, these are neurons that are con that are dedicated. They are committed. Okay, to encoding semantic knowledge. Okay, facts. Okay, information. The data. That is the primary the responsibility. That out of the 86 to 100 billion neurons that we have, okay, these concept neurons, their own, okay, reason, their own why has to do with come to life, come online, okay, and encode information that are connected to learning, connected to the information that are connected to education, information that are connected to studying, it is it. So as you practice, okay, the first principle of thinking, as we keep asking questions, there's something that normally happens in our brain, okay, called a synaptogenesis. Okay, within those neurons, okay, new dendrites, okay, will begin to sprout, or the, it is called either dendrites or the buttons. They will begin to actually uh, grow out of the existing concept in neurons. And if we keep doing this, okay, it will do what? It will lead to what? What is called long term. A potentiation. A long term potentiation, it is the neural basis of synaptic plasticity. Okay, these neurons, okay, will, will grow new ki kind of uh, uh, dendrites, okay, new connections, okay, with other neurons. And the strength, okay, and the density of this neuron will do what? Will become bigger, will become larger. And whatever information, okay, that we store, okay, in this. Okay, micro circuit. Okay, that information will, will become okay a long term information. It will be transferred, or yes, it will be transferred from the uh, short term memory. Okay, that, that is the memory that was initially in the hippocampus okay, where we were ready. But because although we are practicing first principle thinking, this information will be transferred into okay the long term memory kind of okay filing system that is in our brain. So uh, there, there. Uh, uh, students all over the world uh, please as you go about your daily activities as you go about reading or studying do not forget to incorporate okay uh, the first principle thinking that elon Musk okay uses okay to dominate okay his competitors to emerge okay as the world's richest uh, man and today because you've actually listened to this video i have a special bonus for you uh, my sixth book is out
okay i have the pdf file please subscribe to my channel and if you're able to actually comment okay comment make sure that you add okay your email okay what i will do is that i will read your comment then i will send you the pdf okay version of the book it is titled top secrets for acing all exams in the world uh, thank you very much and i shall see you in the next video